I'm Drew Devitt here at New Way Air Bearings and we are taking apart one of our more number three jig bore bases that have been retrofitted with coarse carbon air bearing spindles. So uh, these air bearing spindles are deterministic and kinematic in that they are spherical. So there's a, a male sphere here and a male sphere here that fit into porous carbon female spheres. And a sphere defines a point, and so two points define a line, and that is the rotation of axis for the spindles. Even more interestingly, we have taken apart the base, the saddle, and the table, uh, and here you see the base of this machine. So Moore did a phenomenal job building these. Uh, I grew up in the machine tool industry and learned to scrape ways in high school and still have Devitt Machinery, which is a company that sells bearing material for plain slideways, Mowgli's, Turkey. Uh, you can look that up at the Devitt Machinery site. But I've spent a lot of years building and fixing way systems and these way systems are really something else. So they're using cast iron on hardened nitroloid steel replaceable way. So this is a replaceable way. These V ways, which are actually square pieces that are bolted in place are also nitroloid. So this is a special hardening process that Moore used that didn't have a high temperature quench or cold quench. They let them cool very slowly, but the nitroloy has an incredible wear property and great dimensional stability, which is why they also used it for the screw here. So this screw is another piece of art. Uh, you can see here the, the just the fit for the plain bearings. When you try to press it in, it's so tight that the air pressure in here actually builds up and prevents you from pressing it in. But this screw lives with this nut that runs back and forth on it. Uh, you can see this beautiful scraped surface that'll mount to the bottom of the saddle. Uh, there's essentially no clearance uh, between the surfaces of this double cut nitrided spindle thread and this uh, aluminum bronze nut casting. So this whole bath or area will be filled up uh, with uh, uh, like a hypoid gear oil and uh, this nut will live submerged in that oil lubrication over this nut. Uh, and the, the nut or the screw has been lapped like a precision step gauge to the point where it's accurate to 39 millionths of an inch over its full travel, which is about 11 inches. So that's some incredible, incredible lapping and fitting. Now, let's go have a look at the sap. Okay, so here you see the bottom of the saddle. So these are the V-ways that made it to those nitroloy hardened ways that you saw. You can see that the, the flaking and the scraping are still visible. So it's hard to see the points per inch here, but it's still 20, 25 points per inch. They're a little bigger than they were probably when they were new, but there is essentially no wear on these ways. There's no scratches from contamination. Uh, and over here at the outriggers, again, you can see the original scraping on these surfaces. This machine is 50 years old at least and has been in continuous use by IBM and by New Way. Uh, you know, each probably for 20 of those 50 years. So this machine's been running for 40 years uh, and essentially has no wear, just like they claim is the case on the screws. And you can see how nice the condition is of the castings and the oil lubrication system. This is just a beautiful piece. Here you can see the top of the saddle and the longer uh, nitrited, V-ways that are on top of here that are made from square stock and bolted into the scraped cast iron. So they 
they scrape this cast iron to like 10 millionths of an inch before they bolt these individually lapped guide bars in. And then they finish lap these after they've been bolted in just to be double sure. And after the saddle is set onto the base. Uh, again, here you can see the oil galley that the screw and nut will live in. A beautiful saddle, still in great shape after 50 years of use. Here we have the table that would fit on the top of that saddle. The table's upside down, so you can see the T-slots are on the granite. But again, look at how gorgeous these bearing surfaces are. There's no wear on the end where you would normally expect to see wear. Uh, you can see just there's no scratches and no evidence of any sort of significant wear on these cast iron bearing surfaces. The, uh, the story in the Moore book is that the nitrolloy cast iron combination makes the bearing systems last 10 times as long. And although I wouldn't have believed that, looking at this and knowing how hard this machine has been used, I believe it now. And again, here you can see the scraped surface where the nut will mount to drive the table back and forth. So as a final comment about our uh, retrofit of this machine, I'd point out that this used to be a jig bore number three, uh, but you can see it has no column like a number three jig bore would have. Uh, so I believe it was IBM that commissioned more special tool to build probably 200 of these machines without the column. Uh, and they retrofitted the machines with these hemispherical graphite spindles uh, for the facing of aluminum discs in the hard disk drive industry, which is what they were using back in the 70s and the 80s. So this was basically a, a memory manufacturing machine. Uh, and you can see uh, we've put a bigger pedestal on it than IBM had on there originally, and we actually scraped this surface ourselves to get the spindle perfectly square to the axis line of the bed. Uh, and we do have several of these machines in use here at New Way. They are wonderful machines to be used as diamond turning machines.